LISD campuses hold this honor, and that is Wiley Middle School and now Four Points Middle School. So to be a school of excellence through National PTA, um, it is a two-year commitment, and it essentially focuses on community engagement, but also how you work together as a team is your PTA board and also your administration. And this could not happen if you didn't have strong administrators and a strong principal. So as a principal, what encouraged you to support your PTAs to apply for the School of Excellence program through National PTA? Well, the best schools function as partners with their community, and so we thought it was extremely important to partner with our community, up membership, and really have them be a part of the development and improvement efforts of our school. This is Paige Steen. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. And she's, she's the one that's done all the work, um, made this sort of idea a year ago actually materialized into an actual Southern Inn closed closet. So the uh, South closed closet is um, something started by the PTA Council. Uh, it gives clothes to any student in the Leander boundaries and so any students can come. We have certain shopping days and shopping hours. Le LISD covers such a huge amount of space that the North one was kind of inconvenient for people. So we opened a South location. This is our store area. As you can see, we have racks set up, we have shoes, we have coats, we have lots of jeans, and it's all sorted by uh, boys and girls and sizes. We have clothes from 3T all the way up to adult extra extra large because we have some big high school boys. I'm Maggie Seussman, the art teacher here at Four Points. And do you guys want to, maybe we can hear from a couple students about Hey guys, can anyone share something about a favorite thing about art class? Um, my favorite thing about art is that we can make whatever we want and it gives us a chance to be creative in a way that we want to be. So um, that's the telephone I made. Wow. How long did that take you to make it? It took me about a week to make it. What inspired you to make a telephone? Um, my inspiration was when I was young, my grandmother used to have a telephone like that and I used to like to play with it all the time. Have you ever used a telephone like that to call somebody? Uh, one time I was typing in random numbers and I accidentally called a stranger, <laughs> but I immediately cut because I did not know who. Can you believe phones used to be like that? No, like now they're <laughs> wireless yeah, and they're not as big and you could like carry it anywhere since it's portable. I call it choice-based, or that's the kind of philosophy that I follow. So they have centers, and the yeah. idea is if they're wanting to work with clay, and they, you know, let's say I open the clay center and I introduce a project, they have a choice to either do that project or do a previous project that maybe they didn't have a chance to finish. But then the idea is that the clay center stays open so that as they see what other people are making or as I introduce new projects, they have a chance to jump in and try that but maybe they want to do sewing and they're done with clay right. so they can move on so it's very differentiated it. for yeah different, all different opportunities yeah. I love it I love yeah. it well, it was nice meeting you nice to meet you too Thanks. this is Senna Senna is um, my uno partner right uno do you beat him <laughs> yeah sometimes okay. sometimes most of the time why don't you show her your your uno tracking where you track the winds Oh, you've got every Uno. <laughs> yes. We even played during virtual, didn't we? Yes. We each had our own deck and we, we played yes. virtually. Was that fun? Which one do you like to do, virtual or in person? Um, person. <laughs> yes, it's better, right? Yes. yes. So do you want to show us the maker space? Yeah, it's yeah. over here yeah. um, set up on the right. I can tell you right now that the chess game is super popular. Really? Yeah, and the marble run is well, that's fine. very popular as well. That, that never gets old. <laughs> so those are the two things that they really enjoy. So when did they get to utilize this space? Um, I have some of the academic study lab classes that are coming in to use these, as well as before school. It is something that they can they can come in and visit and hang out so and it's, enjoy. It truly is like a hangout place. It's not just a place you come and get a book. Like they're utilizing right. other aspects of the library and Oh, absolutely, fun. yes, yes. I love that you have your own room for this. My kids would I, love this. I copied, I copied Vandegrift. It's, it's not an original thought. We had so many that we ended up have, I had to have more space. This is amazing. And the, the sixth graders, the first time that they see that it's an entire room for graphic novels, they lose their minds. Yes. They are just so excited. It is the gateway book yes. for them to progress into uh, longer texts. I tell parents that these are absolutely 
real books and that they do count. So if they can get their students to read graphic novels over the summer, or if they're checking the, a lot of them out, that it's um, a completely appropriate stepping stone for, for their children to move towards um, the typical novels that we think of whenever we're, we're thinking of books.